Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. You may have heard California had tsunami warnings today. Uh, there was a volcano that erupted off the coast and tsunami warnings. So nothing happened in San Diego. Uh, up towards central California there were some issues, but the waves were pretty irritated today. So I'm hoping it might have churned up some old stuff. So I decided to go out to some surfing beaches because when the tides are normal they tend to be higher here the surfers like it so I figured with that going on better chances for some kind of a movement of the sand or something so I'm in North County San Diego I'll be kind of sporadically hitting a few beaches here and there like Carlsbad Oceanside Encinitas I'm just gonna kind of dip in and out of some and see how I do we'll see you on the first day This one's all over the place, but never dipping below like 23. It's up against a little mini cut. It's the only cut I see around. Lots of black sand. I've walked 50 yards, haven't heard anything until this. Now it's reading like a quarter, straight up 30. That's not a quarter, first target. All right, well. Well, that's kind of cool. First target is that. That would be ring number five for the year. Well, if I hear nothing but rings, I'd be happy with that. All right, on to the next. Twenty minutes later, I hear my second target, which sounds like hell. But it's something. Yeah, probably trash. fishing hook it sounded like hell and I was digging it just out of curiosity and I throw it out now it's a solid eight and nine and I think I see something shiny right here Let me squat down and take a look could be foil could be something cool right there Getting shinier. A smiley face. That's some sort of jewelry. Looks like it's got a little hanger there, so it's like a necklace pendant. All right. I mean, no targets to speak of really, but the ones that I'm hitting are jewelry. And a fishing hook, but I'll take it. Some tiny little something. Fishing weight. I don't think it's a bullet. Alright, finally got a rock solid tone here. No question I should dig that. Reading up near 30, like a quarter. Something silver. See if I can keep this trend going, make it jewelry. Sounds like a quarter. And it is. I'm hoping you can see up the beach with the lights. I can't really tell, but I'm following a what was a cut maybe yesterday, but then it's sanded in really bad. I can show you with the light on here. So here's the edge of that line I'm following. But then the sand's just push back in so it probably was cut then push back in so it's not likely I'm going to find targets down that way but maybe right along the cut and I'm kind of taking my coil up onto the ledge up onto the ledge with hopes I find something
truck. Got a shallow six. Seems like something big. opener. I don't know what else it would be. I'll clean it up and find out. It's got these teeth on this side. Oh, you know what? It's a surfboard. Uh, it's got surf wax on it. It's for, I don't know. But that's a bottle opener for sure. On to the next beach. Here over an hour and about five or six targets. So we'll go up the street. Low 20s, just a few miles down the road, south. Uh, this is a beach I've had a lot of good luck at in the past, after storms. And uh, there's a lot of rocks here. And a lot of rocks are exposed right now, so that's good. to be a great night. That is another pendant. Oh, now it's an earring. Cool. There's another rocks. It's pretty cool. I'll catch a wave coming in, it sounds cooler. <laughs> All right, just a ton of rocks, ton of black sand. So the waves are unpredictable right now, so I'm gonna dig targets and turn on if it's something cool. I heard a 30 down here and then I got ran away by the waves. And of course, there's a ton of rocks. So I'll dig this one. Darn it. Really don't wanna get wet. Or fall over. Alright. See if I can get under these rocks. Alright, I got it. Let's rinse out while we're here. And we'll run up here and see what we get. Yeah, the waves are pretty consistent usually, but after that storm. That's a bunch of junk. After that storm, they're just, you'll be minding your business. Next thing you know, waves at your waist. All right, I'll turn on if I find something cool. Well, that's one of the crustiest pennies I've ever found. I think it's a penny just because I broke some off and I'm seeing that, but. Man, that's that's some old stuff. That's good. I mean, it's it's in the tough rocks. It's hard to dig, but hell, there should be, there could be some really good stuff. All right, back at it. All right, third and final beach. Wanted something a little sandier. That last one with the rocks was killing me. The targets never sounded really strong. Oops, there These waves are just so unpredictable. Don't think I have it in my scoop. It's a 12. So definitely a ton I don't want to walk away from. Could be gold. Got it. 11. Earring? What is that? a jewelry kind of night and I am not complaining it used to be a bracelet maybe who knows all right I'm working my way back to the car but this is a uh, 1718 
it's uh, I don't know it's always good to find a lot of jewelry pieces but when you go out for a total of three hours or so and you just dig a handful of targets that's kind of frustrating <laughs> so the conditions are still not ideal but I have gotten very lucky tonight no doubt and this is a fishing weight all over the place but no less than 20 typically a bottle cap is all over the place but it won't uh, it'll dip below 20 usually so I'm curious oh it's a zipper pull I believe nope that's not it that is a penny jumping from 20 to over 30 that's crazy Another one hopping all over the place, but I have a feeling it's a penny again, hanging out around 20. What the heck is this thing? It is a... Eh, I'll turn on the camera if it's something cool. Oh, it is something cool. <laughs> it is something small. It's another pendant. This one's like a, uh, a ship steering wheel, I guess they would call it. Let me put this away. Man. If I could tolerate standing out for another couple hours, maybe I could find something really cool. Lots of jewelry. Probably the last dig before I go to the car. 30, like a quarter, shallow. Quarter and a rock. All right, we'll see you on the wrap up. All right, we're gonna do a wrap up in my garage. Um, not much for targets. Uh, here's my trash. And I also have a new toy to show you. I'll get there in a second. But tonight, three quarters, that crusty, crusty thing, which I said was a penny, it's actually a nickel. I don't believe I've seen a nickel that crusty. So I'll throw that in the cleaner with the rest someday, and we'll see how that turns out. Uh, pennies, I've got this surfboard thing. I don't know. It's got wax all over it, so I assume, like, surfboard wax. But bottle opener, and who knows. Got this, who knows what it is, a bracelet maybe, or... I just don't know. This little piece that was a smiley face has fallen apart. That little little guy was towards the end there. That was kind of neat. I don't see any markings on that. Uh, this earring. Now I've seen butterfly wings. I've seen four leaf clovers um, presented like this. I have no clue what that is. If anybody does, let me know. And the ring, the very first find at the very first beach. It rang up like a quarter, so we can assume uh, it's silver. I can test it, but I just don't feel like it. Um, but looking around, I didn't see any markings on it. But that's where this new tool comes in handy. And this is a magnifying thing. Like I can check out the stones but you can see just the way the, the metal is made that's that's silver the colored portion it's got that darker colored strand through there that looks like it's just colored silver but pretty sure that's silver but this is the my Christmas present from my parents and, and it'll come in handy when I'm back in Virginia and find some old coins be able to throw them under there and and look at some details I can't make out what that says but that's the brand so anyhow that was a fun hunt a frustrating hunt because there weren't a lot of targets this is three hours worth uh, usually there's a lot more targets so the conditions are still terrible um, but you know what I came out on top tonight one two three four five pieces of jewelry and eight coins and then some randoms so that's it thanks for watching 
like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.